at ward level purgatory. Can't believe he did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artist swindled them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. Guy filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Could've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 gets tough and my former engineers hit the bar. Shepard, you're alive. I told you, nothing can take down Shepard. We heard about the Reapers attacking Earth, then Cerberus decides to screw you too. I can't believe we work for them. Not anymore. So you're not on the elusive man's payroll anymore? After the Alliance locked you up and impounded the Normandy, Cerberus recalled the whole crew. But we slept away. We were there for the Norman, for you, nor for them. And there was something creepy about those recall orders. Just didn't feel right. She's got good intuition. Cerberus helped us take down the collectors. They served their purpose. And now it's time to pay them back, right in their daddy bags. Let us join you, Commander. We'll serve on whatever ship you fly. We want to help. Grab your gear. Normandy's docked at Bay D-24. You've got Normandy back? Fantastic. I miss her. Thank you, Commander. We'll see you on board. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Do you think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. 
Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. When we get back to Earth, I'll buy it. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Salud! Thanks for the drink. Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold the house. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. Banner of Commander Shepard, I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. <laughs> the banner of the 1st Regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor.
Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional marks is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? What's your angle on gaining control of the Blood Pack? Narl will explain it. If we're gonna work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got C-Sec eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm gonna slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. We'll talk later. I'm sure.
Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. You can't turn people away! Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the Docking Bay. Wait! Please! My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E-24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. What else is in the area? This high-security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a Council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. So how did the Council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Do you have any information on Purgatory? The term Purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the Bar called Purgatory. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. The Council called the invaders Reapers. The same term was used. All Batarian visitors, please report to emergency civilian housing at Docking Bay E24. Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, Dekar. Christophe Wasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know, I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No.
Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. Come here. God, I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survive the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore. Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. I just... can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look, change your name, get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else... Why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Operations. I figured you'd talk to a rock and see if you could get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me and I'll take care of it. No need to candy coat it, Aria. Ah, oh, Shepard, you think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. 
Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. Yeah. Have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. You have a copy of a Shepard VI. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with an SSV Normandy flight sim. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Extranet says you're Alliance military. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? Val, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with Keiji. Keiji wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing.
I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Bao, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. Welcome, Commander. Area's tagged of interest to you. One moment, please. 